Today we're going to look at a problem that we're going to solve using only variables. And you will often see this problem um, written where they're going to give you the variables you want to use. So in this case, we're going to be using only V, G, and H. So you just want to make sure in your final answer you only are using the V, G, and or H. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Um, we're going to have a ball rolling off a cliff. I'm going to go ahead and draw this out. So we're going to have a cliff, okay? And our ball, it does say it's rolling horizontally. So here's our ball. It's coming off a cliff. It's moving with a velocity v here. The cliff has a height of h, okay? And obviously, as it comes off the cliff, it's going to kind of take a path, something like this. It's going to land some distance. Let's just call this distance d. How about dx? This would be the horizontal distance that it's going to land. So they're going to look for four things, or we're looking for four things. And again, we want to make sure our answer is expressed only in terms of v, g, or h. So just like we usually do, we're going to go ahead up and set up our givens in the problem. So because it's a two dimensions, we're going to have x's, we're going to have y's. So let's in the x direction, let's look at our variables. We have v initial, v final, a, delta d, and t. Okay, so in this case, our v initial is just simply v. So instead of plugging in numbers, we're just going to plug in variables in here. Our v final, um, well, since it's horizontal, once it's in the air, there's no horizontal acceleration. We could actually call that zero here. Therefore, the v final in the x direction would be the same. So that's also going to be v. The displacement here, well, that's what we're looking for, right? We can just call that dx. And then time, we don't know. In fact, if we want, we could just simply call that t. In the y direction, let's go through the same thing. So our v initial in the y direction, well, since the problem says it's just horizontal, we know that's going to be 0. Our v final is unknown. So this would be the final velocity right before hitting the ground here. Acceleration, we know this is going to be negative 9.8. Well, in the, this case, the problem, they do want us to just simply use g. Now you could call this negative. In fact, let's go ahead and call that negative here. And then delta d, this would be our dy. In this case, the problem we're expressing this is h. Now since we're below where we started, I'm also going to make this negative h here. And time again, we're going to use t. So let's go ahead and solve for a. Letter a is looking for the time in the air. We've solved this problem many times. Uh, remember, when we based on what we have given here, we're going to be using the y direction variables to help us out. So our equation here would be our dy equals vot plus one half at squared. And again, we're going to be using the y variables. So our dy, we'll just plug in variables here instead of numbers. Our v initial was 0, and we'll write this as one half. And again, we'll put negative g t squared. Okay, we are solving for the time, so we're just going to rearrange this to solve for time. Uh, notice that our negatives do cancel out, so this would be positive, positive. We can just multiply both sides by 2, divide both sides by g, and then go ahead and square root. So that's going to be our answer for t. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve for the next one. Um, I'm going to move this up a little bit. So this one, we're looking for the horizontal distance. So in this case, again, we're going to be looking for a dx here. So we'll just use the same equation, but this time we're just going to use our x variables. So vot, 1 half at squared. And remember, in the horizontal direction, our a is going to be 0. So that's just going to cancel out. So we're going to end up with dx equals vt. Now here's where most people just stop. Many students will just say, oh, that's the answer. But remember, if we look back up here, this says express things only in terms of v, g, and h. So we do want to make sure that we're expressing only in terms of v, g, and h. And so what we're going to do is we're going to substitute this t into here. And so we're going to end up with dx equals, we'll just leave this as v. That's OK for one of our variables. So we're going to go v, and then we'll just plug in square root of 2h over g. And notice we have the three variables that they asked for, so I'm just going to go ahead and stop here and say that's our solution. 
So let's look at letter C. Letter C, we're looking for the final velocity before it hits the ground. So remember, when we're looking for final velocity, this is going to be hitting here at an angle, right? So it has both horizontal and vertical velocity. And if you notice here, we already have the horizontal velocity. That's just V. That stays constant in the problem, right? So here's our V going here. That's going to stay constant throughout. Um, we do want to get the vertical velocity. It's going to be speeding up as it falls, right? It's going to be getting faster and faster and faster as it's falling to the ground. So we want to go ahead and figure that out. And then we'll just kind of combine them and use our Pythagorean theorem to solve for that. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to go, let's write C here. So we're going to do this in the y direction, right? And, you know, you have a couple of choices here. I'm going to go ahead and use this equation, v o squared plus 2a delta d. And remember, this is going to be in the y direction. So our v final, that's what we're looking for. So v f squared, our v initial, remember, this is in the y direction. So this has a zero vertical velocity to start with. And then we'll write this as 2, negative g, and then again, this was negative h. Once before, uh, once again, you notice that we have a negative and a negative. We can just cancel those out, make them positive, positive. And so we're going to get a VF. Remember, this is, I'll write this as Y. This is going to be equal to the square root of 2GH. Okay? Now that's our Y direction. We do need to get that total velocity. So remember, we're going to have a horizontal velocity, VX. We're going to have a vertical velocity vy and so we're going to find the v total here which is going to be um, what they're asking for the final velocity right before it hits the ground here okay so our vx so we're just going to use the pythagorean theorem right so v squared is just going to be vx squared plus vy squared and then we're just going to substitute in the values that we have so vx is just simply v so we'll just write this as v squared and then our v uh, in the y direction is uh, square root of 2gh. And then we're going to have to square that. So notice that's nice. We're going to lose that square root there. So we can write this as v squared equals um, vx squared. Oh, actually, we're just calling that v, right? Uh, let's go erase somehow. Erase. There we go. Okay, and anyway, let's go ahead and find it. We'll call this V final. Um, just square root it. So we're going to get V equals square root of, this is going to be V squared here. And then, you know, when you square a square root, you just end up with 2GH. So this will be our final velocity here. Again, remember, we want our answer to only be expressed. Let's go back in what? V, G, and H. And it looks like we're good here. This is going to be, whoa, that's going to be V, V, G, and H. So we're good to go with that one. Okay, last little thing is that angle. So notice right here, we've got a little angle right here. That's what they're looking for. So this would be our tangent, right? So we are at letter D. It's going to be our tangent function, so we're just going to use tangent of theta equals opposite, in this case is Vy, over adjacent, which is Vx here. Okay, and again, you're just going to substitute in what we had for our Vy. Where's our Vy? There we go. So we have our Vy right here. Let's use a different color. So here's our Vy. That's going to be square root of 2gh, so just substitute that in here. And our Vx, of course, itty bitty right there. We're just going to plug that in over there. So we're going to have tan theta equals square root of 2gh over v. Um, I guess that's not quite, we're not quite done. We do want to then inverse tangentize this. So we're going to get theta equals tangent inverse of square root 2gh over v. And there we go, that would be our final angle here. Remember, this is the angles. This would be, we would say this is below the horizontal.
Okay, and that's how you solve a question with just variables. Again, remember, way back here, only your, all your final answers should be in terms of V, G, and, a, and 